The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, you have received, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to others to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden, and your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I'm sure you all recognize this gospel passage because it's a gospel passage that we hear every single year on Ash Wednesday. It is the gospel passage that begins our Lenten season. Every single Ash Wednesday, we have exactly the same one. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites. When you give alms, do not be like the hypocrites. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. And the gospel passage is given to us again this week in the 11th week of ordinary time. And there's a good reason for that. The first reason is because we have a, what we call is a lectio continua. In other words, during our weekday masses, we go through the gospels um, uh, like verse by verse, you know, chapter by chapter. And so this just happens to be within that continuous reading of St. Matthew's gospel. But there's a second reason why we would repeat this gospel passage uh, while we have it on Ash Wednesday, but we will repeat it again throughout the year. And that's to remind us that what we did on Ash Wednesday, what we did throughout Lent, wasn't just for Lent, because it's meant to be the life of the Christian. In other words, it's not just during Lent that we're called to pray, fast, and give alms, and not do so like the hypocrites. And then all of a sudden, Lent's over, and we can start being like the hypocrites. No, that makes no sense at all. The gospel passage is given to us again as a good reminder of how we are called to live our Christian life. And the one thing, the one term, the one word that our loving Saviour Jesus Christ focuses on in this gospel passage is the word hypocrisy, hypocrites. It's so easy to fall into hypocrisy. It's so easy, even for all the right reasons, all the good intentions to pray, to fast, and to give alms, but with all the wrong intentions of how we show we pray, we fast, and we give alms. Because we're not here for show. We're not here certainly to look at how other people are praying or fasting or giving alms. That's not a part of our Christian life. We should never, ever point the finger at someone else. I think it was my third grade Maltese Franciscan teacher who taught us, Sister Minima was, was her name, 
minimum. That's a name you don't hear every day, is it? Sister Minima. She's gone to God now, pray for her all the time. She prepared me for reconciliation of First Holy Communion. And she would say to us in a very thick Maltese accent, which I won't do because I don't want to offend Father over here. <laughs> she would say to us, remember, when one finger is pointing, three fingers are pointing back at you. And I'd say, well, there's wisdom in that, isn't there? It's a physical attribution of a spiritual reality. When you're pointing one finger at someone else, there are three fingers pointing back at you. And that's the concept of hypocrisy, is that we're keen to look at the other. We're keen to judge the other. What did I say about the sin of pride the other day? The sin of pride is removing Christ from the center of our lives and replacing him with ourselves. And that's pride, and that leads us to judging and to hypocrisy. We have to be very careful about that. The good Lord does call us to fraternal correction, and he shows us exactly how to correct fraternally. But we kind of jump to step number 10, forgetting the nine steps before that. We cannot be Catholic Christians and be like the hypocrites that our loving Saviour is calling out and whom he calls out time and time again throughout sacred scripture. It is the epitome, the absolute epitome of uh, our existence as Catholic Christians. It's got to be, we've got to do the right thing and show humility, the exact opposite of pride, and remind ourselves that, as our Lord will tell us in another gospel passage, before I worry about the splinter in my neighbor's eye, maybe I should worry about the plank in my own eye. Our Lord's turn of phrase is very purposeful. Here he's saying it again. He's saying the same thing, but using a different example. Because it was close to our Lord's heart. Why does he keep calling out the, the Pharisees? He doesn't call them out because he hates them. Our Lord can't hate. It's impossible. It's against his nature to hate. He doesn't even dislike them. Our Lord calls out the Pharisees throughout all of sacred scripture because they're not doing the right thing. They're not living their vocation with humility. He respects the law. He shows that throughout all of sacred scripture. He does not respect the Pharisees because they've been giving a, a given a very important task to lead the people of God to heaven. And they have failed miserably. And he shows that. And that's why he has a go at them, because he loves them. And he calls them to task. If you've been called to lead the people of God to heaven, then do your job. And he's saying that to the Holy Father, to the cardinals, to the bishops, and to the priests and deacons today as well. You've been called to lead the people of God to heaven. That's what you're meant to be doing. If you lead even one astray, you haven't done your job. A grave task. Pray every single day for the Holy Father. Pray for the cardinals, the bishops, priests and deacons. We need those prayers. Because it's easy to fall into this. It's easy to pray in a way that, oh, look, everyone's looking at me. It's easy to give arms and make sure that everyone can see what I'm doing. It's easy to fast and to show that as well. That I usually don't have a problem with, but that's another point. My dear people, let's listen to the words of our loving Saviour. Hypocrisy has no place in our faith life. Humility, putting God back into the centre of our existence time and time again. Conversion, conversion, conversion. Not once, but every day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.